So viewer Marianne S. has asked about uh, Vladimir Putin and who's next after Ukraine. So that's what the video will be about. If you like it, I hope you do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. I mean, that's pretty basic. That's what we all want to know. What's uh, on going on with Putin? And uh, who's next after Ukraine? Is somebody next? So that's what we'll uh, talk about here. Okay, so Marianne S. asks, viewer Marianne S. has the question, Vladimir Putin, who's next after Ukraine? Assuming, perhaps, that it gets Ukraine. Mary S. Marianne S. Thank you very much, Marianne, for asking the question. Um, who's next? Interesting. First, let's have just a moment of meditation. Who's next? Good question. Okay, Marianne S. Viewer Marianne asks Putin, who's next? Putin, who's next? Four Celtic Cross. All devoted to that. Putin, who's next? Six cards to start. One, two, three, four, five, six. Who's next, Vlad? Okay. Who's next? Signifier card. Okay, so this is the Wheel of Fortune. Wow. That's just kind of a scary answer. So the Wheel of Fortune is, uh, but again, I try. I usually read cards in a positive manner, wherever I'm getting any information from would know that. So um, yeah, the Wheel of Fortune uh, is, uh, it's always turning around. There's always a difficult part uh, that um, is there. Uh, but then you get some momentum and you start going around again. And uh, every uh, actor in this Wheel of Fortune looks successful and like uh, they know exactly what they're doing. So the signifier card of this, who's next? Let's see where the roulette wheel stops, basically. There's lots of places down there. The challenge to that, then, is this six... Uh, yeah, that's the challenge. Is the Six of Cups. Cups are compassion, emotion, uh, heartfelt things. And so the challenge to this Wheel of Fortune is um, uh, wanting, wanting things the way they were in the past. And that's the very definition of what some people say are the main motivation for Putin in doing this to begin with, wanting things the way they were in the past. The base of this reading is the Ace of Wands, uh, a great big plan, a great big thing that's going to be made to happen. And uh, this is almost like a hammer down. So the basis of this whole thing is that plan uh, that Putin has and is pounding into the ground. And uh, the five of cups is in the past. Oh, yeah, this is, um, you know, wishing things were some other way. There's a lot of spilt. And here it actually looks like blood. I mean, it's red uh, on the uh, circus uh, carpet there. And uh, this clown is just very sad. And uh, But there's two cups uh, left to go on. So that's something uh, in the sky of this reading is uh, the Queen of Swords. So, oh my God, but look at this queen. This is the bearded lady. Okay, so this is um, just an, uh, let me just say it, an ugly queen, okay? A queen that, uh, but look, no matter how she looks, she's holding on to that truth, justice, rules, and law, and she's trying to be very seductive in her presentation of it, isn't she? So, and then the um, likely outcome of the first part of this is uh, the lovers. And this is a major arcana card. So this is telling us that somehow there is a friendship. But who's next? Who's next? Okay, who's next? The self of that question, who's next, is this king of coins. So look for the most valuable country that would be susceptible to um, to uh, Russia take over. 
The environment that that's in is the magician. Oh yeah, using anything you can at your disposal to make a thing happen. And look, there's a devil under the table there, and there's a very overworked angel under that same table. So yeah, that's in the environment of uh, the magician. The hopes and the fears, then, for who's next, is the chariot. Oh, this thing can, can come along faster than you ever thought. And then the final outcome is right here with the three of uh, wands. And the three of wands is telling us, look, we better make some long-term plans. This fellow who's looking a little vulnerable, honestly, is looking out into the distance, into the horizon, with a plan in his hand and a couple of more staked to the ground in front of him. So, yeah. It could be, you know, wanna know, you know who's next? Look for who's the most value uh, to that country. And there's your answer. I always just have to believe the cards don't lie. Now, I could get it wrong, but the cards are what they are. So, uh, you know, give me an idea of what you think about that. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on. So, Le Grand Circus and Sideshow Tarot by Joe Lee. These are really terrific cards. They come in a very nice box. If you received them as a gift or gave them as a gift, you'd feel like, oh, that's a, that was a nice gift. And um, the cards themselves are really nice. Um, they're done in the style of sort of circus posters. And uh, the guidebook uh, is really a very nice little guidebook. This fellow, Joe Lee, uh, was a very interesting uh, person, or is a very in interesting person. And uh, I want to find, there's a little bit here that talks about him. Um, but he was a circus performer. He went to the Clown College in Florida, which I'm from Florida, and I'm very well of the Clown College here. Uh, uh, that uh, you can go to to get a, a degree in that. And then uh, he's done other things in his life, and then once he decided uh, that he would create uh, tarot cards, he uh, designed these um, to be so very useful. They're easy to use. Um, the art on them is amazing, and if you know your right away system, you're not going to have a problem, you know, deciphering uh, what these cards are, are going to mean. I mean, they're pretty self-explanatory and fun 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 to look at so you know i do this so that you can have a look at these cards uh and you know if you're not a person who collects cards or looks at a bunch of tarot cards otherwise you're only going to see the few cards that a reader pulls at a time and uh, i think it's just you're missing out on a lot so you know this uh Le Grand, uh circus sideshow tarot i love using these i'm mark my journey through tarot Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now. One, two, three. You really make a big difference. Thank you.